In this video, we're going to create a paddle for our Pong game. I'm going to click somewhere right about here, which is three blocks down and two blocks over from the left. You may click somewhere slightly different, which is fine. And I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, I forgot to do something. What did I forget to do? I forgot to change my layers. We have to go back and make sure we're on the game world layer and no longer on the background layer. So please make sure you click game world. Now I'm going to come up to the same place and click on the box. Now I have the option for create and cancel. I'm going to click create. First thing we want to do is to change our settings for the paddle to be what we want them to be. For type, I'm going to change this to player paddle. For the name, I'm going to call this player one. I want to make sure it's movable. Right now, it says it's affected by gravity, but if you remember in a previous video, we changed the settings down here to have zero gravity. So it doesn't really matter if this is checked, but let's just say we forget to change the gravity to zero in settings. We want to make sure this is off because we don't want it to be affected by gravity. We do want it to be a solid. We have some options here for drag, bounce, and friction. We're just going to leave those at the default values. We'll talk more about changing those in a later tutorial. I'm going to change this shape to rectangle, so this is good. Please make sure your settings look like mine. Next, we're going to come to edit this sprite, and what I'm going to do is to scale this. So instead of just being one block, it will actually be one block across, but three blocks down. I can do that by coming over here and clicking on this scale icon. Down at the bottom, I have options for width and height. We're going to leave the length at one, but for the height, we're going to change the value to three. Now you can see that we have a lot more blocks here. I'm going to go ahead and click this grid and drag it all the way over. Let's pick a color for this paddle. I have a blue background and I want something that shows up well with the blue background. If the background were a dark blue, I might use a white paddle. If the background were a lighter blue, I might use a black paddle. You definitely want to make sure you have some contrast between your background and your sprites. I'm going to come in here and make my paddle white, which will show up well on my blue background. You can do a different color if you'd like, such as pink, green, or yellow. Now I'm going to come in here and change all these boxes to be white. This will take just a minute to do. So while I'm doing this, if you will, please go ahead and create your paddle sprite. Okay, so now I'm done. I'm going to choose okay. And there is my paddle on our game area. I'm going to go ahead and click okay again. All right, in the next video, we're going to create the ball. See you in the next video.